Welcome to this general introduction of the functionalities of the Strategy Implementation Management Tool. So this is just a quick introduction about various pages and tabs that the tool integrates and just to present with an overview of the various options. So to be able to access the tool, you will have a separate video about how to create your credentials, but once you're done and you have access to your full initiative, this is what you will see. So essentially you have a control center, which is a dashboard where you have all the overview of the various progresses of the strategy. Just so you know, this presents a demo country, it means that this is not actual information. This has been entered as dummy information just for demonstration purposes. So you can see here, various tabs so in particular you see the action implementation which separates all the actions under all the plan of actions of the initiative into three statuses either completed being implemented or to be programmed meaning not started so you will see here a quick overview of all of this you will have the tasks that are assigned to you and that you will need to complete and you will have the notifications related to the operations on the tool and especially on the use of other users of the tool so that you know when you need to validate some information entered. In the bottom here, you will have a table showcasing all of the strategies under the initiative. There might be several or just one, which describes the overall progress of the actions under that plan of action. So you will see here, for instance, this sector strategy. If you click here on the little arrow, you will have the decomposition of the strategy in strategic objectives. And then this progress overall here will be decomposed by strategic objective. You see here which of the strategic objectives are more advanced than the others. You can also go a bit deeper going into operational objectives and then decompose there as well, having the whole list of activities. So you can play around with that here and see what is the progress on the various components of your strategy. This is just meant to give you an overview. Then the most important tab under the tool is strategy management. And under strategy management, you will have two components, plan of action and task management. Under plan of action, you have access to the entirety of all of the plans of actions under all strategies under your initiative. So this will look like this. It's a list of all the actions here. You will see all the related informations under each of these actions. So you will have, for instance, the tasks that are connected to each of the actions, as well as the reports available under each action. You, of course, have the options to select these actions and filter them various ways. You can select a progress type, so either being implemented, completed, or to be programmed. Filter by strategy, so filtering by the sector or the function that we are looking at. There could be also a filtering by lead implementer, so meaning you could filter by the institution that's leading on the action, or by the area of change, which is defined by the various themes that the action could be related to. So innovation, institutional strengthening, job creation, etc., etc. Finally, you have also a search option as well as an option to edit the plan of action, which is available in the beginning when the POA is not yet validated. But then once it is validated, it's locked and then you will need a special authorization for amendment validated by authorities to ensure that you can adjust the POA. And then finally, you can also have an export POA option to Excel where you can export all of the content here into an Excel spreadsheet. Moving on to the task management, if we look here, we will see various general tasks. There are two types of tasks in the system. One of the types of tasks is earmarked towards an action in the plan of action. The other type of tasks are the general tasks, which here are listed and they can be created easily and they will be more about coordination and programming, setting up meetings and things like that. Next, we have the report tab where you can overview all of the narrative reports under the tool. So you will see here all the narrative reports connected to actions in the plan of action. 
Anytime a user reports on the task completion, a report will be shown here and listed, and you will see the progress on the actions as reported. Next, you also have the dashboard. So the dashboard allows to visualize all of the content of the tool in various ways. So you have, for instance, the various strategies and their level of completion here at the top green being completed, blue being implemented, and dark blue to be programmed. You also have by lead implementing partners. So this is a very useful function when you can separate the actions of the plans of actions by institution. And that will showcase also which of the institutions are assigned the most task. It's a very useful function for the secretariat to know uh, which are the institutions they will be interacting the most with to monitor the implementation. And then you also have the last way to visualize by funding type. So we have three types of funding. In green, you see core. Core funding is the core funding of an institution, is the annual budget they receive for their completion of their mandate. When it's under core budget, that means the activities or the actions can be integrated within the budgets of the institutions that are implementing them. Non-core budget is special envelopes like funds, like special projects that are assigned to specific outcomes. And these are sometimes used to fund actions. And finally, in dark blue, we will see development partner funding. So this will allow to see all of the foreign aid or aid for trade type of assistance that can come in into each of these actions. You can also filter this by a sector as well. Finally, we have resource management, which is an option that is coming soon in the tool, which will allow to create project ideas, and then eventually connect those project ideas to tasks that are contributing to the implementation. And last, we have the communication tab, which integrates two functions. First of all, success stories. So the success stories function is very useful to showcase any type of good information that happened based on the implementation. These success stories then will be able to be embedded in other websites in a visual for public, as we call it, which is a selection of information from the tool to showcase the current state of implementation. Finally, also there is a document management option which allows to store various documents here. So it could be the strategy document themselves or it could be any other document that is required. Finally, we have the admin tab here, which is basically various ways to enter the data, adjust the data in the tool, also, user management is a very important aspect, but we'll go into these in more detail in separate videos. A last way to see notifications is by going here on the notification button at the top next to your name, where you can also edit your profile. But in this notification little icon, you can see here all the list of notifications that are relevant to you and that might need to be actioned upon. So you can click on the notification here and it will bring you to the relevant page inside of the tool for you to take action on them. So I hope this provides you with a good first overview of the tool. See you in more specific videos on various options of the tool.